and try to get some of those answers mm. at uh, Tempar State. We'll have the International Development Secretary, uh, Andrew Mitchell, here uh, to answer some of Graham's questions and also to answer some of the points that you've raised as well in your emails and texts. So stay tuned for that in uh, about 45 minutes' time. Now, though, at 25 minutes past seven, Hollywood actress Jane Russell has died. She was 89, lived in California. The brunette bombshell became a sex symbol back in the 1940s. She was one of the most popular stars at the box office. Yeah, she starred, of course, in films alongside Marilyn Monroe, Frank Sinatra, Bob Hope, and Babita Sharma now looks back at her life. Jane Russell, who's died in California at the age of 89. Fabulous. 27 minutes past seven, still to come on breakfast this morning. For 7.30, let's get the news, the travel and the weather where you are this morning. See you in a minute. The inquests are due to begin today into the deaths of Derek Bird and the 12 people he murdered in Cumbria last June. Bird 3, if you're a parent, what do you do when you notice your child has a raised temperature? Do you immediately reach for the medicine cabinet in an attempt to ease their symptoms? Or do you leave the fever to run its course? Well, a report by people. Well, let's speak now to our Middle East correspondent, John Lyne, who is in Benghazi, a city in the east of Lib Libya, of course, Benghazi under opposition control. And, John, what is the opinion there of people about this potential for military action? Well, Some of them more than one marathon at a time. She's unbelievable. She um, has no nerves. She has no nerves. And to prove it for perhaps her greatest challenge so far, mm. she's going to be right here on this sofa in an hour's time. Answering questions from us. Very, very difficult questions. Is she up to the job? <laughs> it's <laughs> ten past eight. Uh, coming up on breakfast, if you're the proud owner of an ancient British artefact, what do you do? Mm. Do you just sell it to the highest bidder? Do you yes, put it if on someone's the offering you loads of money, what would you do if it was incredibly old and incredibly beautiful or would you offer it to a British Museum first in order to keep it in this country well the reason we're discussing this is because there's a 300 year old helmet at the center of such a row and we're going to be talking about it in a few minutes time we'll find out what you're supposed to do but first <laughs> of all uh, here's a question why is the international aid budget going up by more than a third when other government departments mm. are being cut it's a question we've been looking at on breakfast this week and many of you uh, more than we've had for some time, have been contacting us with all your thoughts. We're going to be putting those thoughts, questions and points to the International Development Secretary, Andrew, Andrew Mitchell, who joins us in just a moment. Today he is giving details of where the overseas aid money is going to be spent. Yeah, for example, funding will be stopped in 16 countries.